Some guy named Nate. Nate, I was, uh, I was actually gonna say Nate. What's up, Brodies? Don't you hate how frickin' Wii games don't frickin' stretch to fucking 16 by 9, so you have to play them in frickin' 4x3 resolution, and then the wrist strap gets caught on your wrist, and then it hurts, and then you adjust your wrist strap, and it still hurts, and then you say he gets a card, and he puts it down, and he yells, and then he points at the screen, and then it's a freaking synchro summon monster, and then shit gets real, and it's a big fucking dragon, and then we got some other people that I don't know the fucking names of because 5Ds is terrible, and then we got dueling, and then whoosh, and then a twirl, and she's got a big red dragon, and there's twins probably, and they're fusing some shit, Fuse with me. We got Tattoo Face McGee, and Tattoo Face McGee's like Womp, and then we got some dudes. We got an orange guy, we got Swordman, we got main bad guy, I think his name's Jack, which is the worst. He's the like Kaiba of this one. He's not cool whatsoever compared to Kaiba. We got this big dragon ass thing. Whoa, flying. We got some fucking double tail dragon. We got this island that's shaped like a hexagon. Dual Transer. That was a cool intro. Look at me. How's it going, roadies? I'm some guy named Nate, and I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds Dual Transer. Before anyone asks, I am going to uh, play uh, other Yu-Gi-Oh! games on the show, but I wanted to do this one first, because, you know... Also, this one doesn't use motion control, which is so weird. I am Nate, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. Uh, how do I uncaps? There you go. I am Nate. Last I checked. True fact, my channel was originally going to be called Nate last I checked. So I'm Nate. I could be a girl. Ooh, look at all the girls I could be. I could be a lot of girls. I could be Spiky Hair Magoo. Tall Magoo. I could be Guy with a Yugi face. I could be Yellow Hair Magoo. I could be Kaiba slash Joey ripoff. I could be Blue Hair McGee. Um, shit. Which dude do I want to be? Because I want to be a lady. That guy's pretty cool. Uh, fine, fuck it. We'll be this guy. Yes. Hooray! And this game did have online features before, you know, fucking, guess what, plot twist. They disconnect, or they canceled the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. So we're going to play campaign, because I can't duel anybody. The new one on the PS4 I really need to buy, because I love Yu-Gi-Oh! a lot. Announcing the opening of the Duel Legends Cup. Whoa! Come on, you proud, strong duelists. Demonstrate your power. The victor has promised a position, a sexual position, far more prestigious than the Duel King. And with it, you shall receive untold power and wealth. This was written on the invitation which Nate received. Sounds good. I wanted all that money. Also enclosed was a portable arm equipment portable digital assistant. Oh yeah. Got a PDA. As Nate reads the enticing invitation, his duelist soul is awakened. And his blood begins to boil. The location of the event is Ragnarok, an isolated island located on the far seas. The sender's name is Suter. That's hilarious. That's a pretty ponderful name. Deck in hand and dick in other hand, Nate begins his journey to the stage of battle. And this game is really peculiar. I played it a little bit before recording, roadies. Uh, but pretty much it's like... Uh, Risk meets dueling above ground. Yggdrasil entrance. So I'm the weird marker right there, and I have to duel whoever I want. Suter. Welcome, duelists. My name is Suter, and um, I hope uh, the organizer of the Duel Legend Cup. Personally, I'd like to thank you all for being proud duelists together in here. That's not his voice, but I'm making it his voice. Hey, Suter. I have some questions for you. Well, well, well. If it isn't the old king, you may speak. Jack Atlas, I'm listening. No need for the old. I'll be back on the throne in no time. Just as soon as I've defeated Yusei. There's Yusei. Jack. Whoa. Hardcore. So the Sura of the Scrum King, Yusei Fudo, Yusei Futanari, is here too. This is uh, destined to be a splendid event. Uh, who cares about that? What I want to know is why you meant to have the invitation to say wealth and power and a position more murderous by the dual king. Are you saying that someone is more powerful than the king and the dominus there? Yes. Hey, 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 so the old king is pride. How fortunate. The pride is important to the cards and for the duelist. Hey, is there really a position more high up than the duel king? Nah, man. But of course, the champion here will have the world at his feet. 
Right, right. Uh, if I win, uh, maybe Mina will. Oh no, there's Mina. Shit. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? The champion wouldn't just have to defeat a great Jack Atlas, but it's simply not gonna happen. What? Uh, I was just. Uh, I wanted to. Uh. <laughs> That's how Tetsu sounds. Suitor, when you talk the whole world, do you think you're that powerful? You can choose to believe it or not. I believe Suitor. Did you hear that Luna, the whole world, awesome? Yeah, right, Leo, that's never gonna happen. Anyway, don't forget what we're really here for. Free ice cream. Yeah, I know, check the information in the Dark Siders. Right, you see? Th that's right. Uh, we're not here for the tournament. We're here for a crazy orgy. But hey, that doesn't mean we have to slack off in the duels. Blah. Of course not. You must take every duel seriously. That is the duelist way. I'm ready to look forward to our duel, you say. I'd like to duel your dick with my boobs. Akizu. You say we're so serious, folks. I don't know that. Rally, what are you doing here? Not just Rally. I have to remember all these stupid fucking people's voices. That's right. Tank, Nervin, how did you? Yeah, we asked the guy to take us here. He's like, yeah. Honestly, your friends are just impossible. Blister, this isn't right. Oh no. Thank you. Okay, I won't fail you, Rally. All of this episode one is just cutscenes. That's right, that's the spirit for me. Hey, hey, we wasting time here. We just start this tournament already. Oh, you freaking lunatic. Oi, uh, was all you just had you nothing to know? The champion's gonna be me. It's obviously me with my fire hair. Ha, huh. what, is that what you think? I'm the only real champion around here. I think not, Squire, for it is I who shall be the victor. I can do a fucking play by myself. Ha ha! There's more of it now. Now your objective is to make it through to the end and face me! I am waiting for you on the top floor of Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil? Yes, you Dressel, you fucking rrr, dummy! The tower that stands before you and very eyes is you Dressel. There is only one rule in the tournament. You must reach the top floor of the tower. That is all. And the story of this game is really short, that's so why I'm doing it before the other Yu-Gi-Oh games. However, there are chosen may reach the top floor of the tower. And the strongest duelists of those chosen will face me in battle. Or if that person manages to defeat me, they shall be declared champion. And shall receive the spoils of victory. <coughs> Sorry. Huh, the entrance to the tower is closed. How do we get in? Uh, to gain entry and Nick Dressel, you must go on the island. The first to win will be the first to be admitted. I see. We'd have the weaklings first, eh? Like that fucking new guy in the corner. His name's Nate. It's not even a cool fucking name. Our activities on the island will be recorded and managed with your pre-A. Naturally, there can be no cheating. Don't look up a guide on GameFAQs. Don't bring any illegal cards. Don't draw a creepy fan art of Dark Magician Girl. Of course, there's surely no one here on this gathering that can do anything with so vulgar. Am I right? You can get your cards through the PDAs you're holding. For more information, just turn it on. And speaking of turned on, I'm really turned on right now. Wow, this PDA sure is handy. Very well, duelists. I now declare the tournament open. Let's pit our very souls against one another. His tongue's out, so I had to give him a cool voice. You say, I'll smoke you. Like a blunt. Well, everyone's on the move. Let's get started. Oh, God. Hey, wait up, Leo. I'm following you. Shall we go to Mr. Atlas? Or Mr. Atlas? You say, try not to get left behind. You're gonna die. Yeah, same for you, Jack. Same to you, you douche nozzle. Oh, Mr. Atlas, wait! Mina, a chaperone you! Uh, dot, dot, dot. You're not coming. I see, well, I mean, I see, well, whatever. You have your own doing of things, I guess. Whatever. You say, let's go. Right, I'm coming. 
Right, I'm right, I'm coming. I'm sorry, I have this voice. I have a feeling that tonight's gonna be a good night. And again, pretty soon, would you like to tell me your name? I'm Yusuf Fudo. Nate? I like that name. It's cool. Right, I'm off. Hope you do well, Nate. Cool. Alright, clean the stage. To clear the stage, you must move your character to the goal panel, which is that glowy orange hexagon. You must move your character to do this thing and then do it. Spin the roulette to move your character. Select a destination and press the A button. Move the PC. Move the PC to the goal panel to clear the stage. AP is needed. Move the player character PC. Spin the roulette to gain AP. After gaining AP, move with the control pad. You can move as far as your AP allows. If you land on a panel with a duel, you may actually start when the duel to gain DP. DP is used to buy shit. The number of times you spin the roulette has been spun to spend on your time. Roulette, moving the normal panel, move one AP. Holy shit, there's too many tutorials. This first episode is going to be pretty much tutorials. So, I can't roll right now, and I'm not going to customize my deck. So, we're going to go AP roulette. And go. Two. Cool. The player gains AP by spinning the roulette and uses it to move on panels. Oh, dear. When no AP remains, the player cannot move. To move again, spin the roulette to gain AP. Roulette minimum and maximums go up by one if you gain ten levels. This opens up the map so you can reach new places. So, move. Let's go down and over. Cool. When the player spins the roulette, the number on the item can be de can decrease. If it reaches zero, it disappears. Get it before it disappears. Cool. If you land on a panel with an item, you can obtain a card or some DP. Cool. Did I get a rare card? Oh, I got $300. Cool. Let's spin the roulette. I bet I'm going to get a one just so I can crash into this idiot. Nope, I got another two. Move. Let's duel this idiot. Sorry, but I need to beat you to add me to the list of victories. I challenge you to a duel. We're only going to be able to do like two turns in this first part, which sucks. Rock, paper, oh crap, I forgot the control stick doesn't really exist. Uh, rock. Damn. What's he gonna do? Oh shit, he's gonna go first. Actually, half the time when you duel, uh, dude, I chose the worst shirt. God damn it, I should have chose a different character. My belly is gonna be so fucking cold. Cool, 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 I know some of these cards already. So Sweet. <coughs> now I'm gonna lean forward because I'm dueling. And I hate how this is only in 4x3. Put your card face down. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Face down is a good strategy right now. Turn change. My turn. Oh, shit. Ooh. So I know Trap Hole is something good to play, so I'll set it. Um, who do I have? Ooh, this monster is really good. Gaga Gigo. I know. Uh, go Gaga, go Gaga Gigo is one of the rare, or one of the coolest cards I have. So then you go, you hit B, then you say Battle Phase. I always didn't do this as a kid. Like, I'm an idiot. Attack. Face down monster. Oh yeah, fuck you and your cards. What's your card? Oh, it's a little whatever the fuck that is. Have fun dying. Check card details. Oh, it's a special effect. Oh god. When this card is destroyed in battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one fire monster of 1500 or less attack from your deck in face of attack. Cool. Fine. Okay. Okay. UFO turtle sucks. Oh, then you shuffle your cards. Yep. Okay. Cool. Easy. And I'll end my turn. I have some extra cards to lay down. Lay it on the line. Do -do 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 -do. Lay it on the line. Oh, draw one card from your deck. Oh, why'd I hit that? Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, one card. And we got trap we got trap hole face down as soon as someone attacks me. Ooh. No, it's this. Yeah, whatever. Just like I'll let you do your special effect. Unless it kills trap hole, because I don't want you to. Ooh. He's using some strategy here. Switching some shit to defense mode. Oh man. Shit. Draw. Draw! What's this? Uh, magic Drain. Negate the activation of an opponent's spell card. Sure, I'll place that. Um, what else? This idiot. Ooh, we got a 7 star monster. Your opponent cannot select another warrior type monster you control if you know, set him face down. And then we'll battle. Fight me. Can I attack? Can I take the one in. Uh, yeah, the one on attack. Let's try that. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Oh, wait. When a face-up natural monster is selected... No, nah, whatever. Fuck. It's fine. Oh. So it pretty much negates my attack. Okay. Cool. Whatever. I'm okay with this. This outcome is decent. Outcome. The 
funny word. Oh shit, son. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Oh shit, he's going into attack. He's taking my bait? Is he taking my bait? No. Oh yeah, he's taking my bait. Oh damn. Aw. Oh, that's fine. Oh, and he plays something face down. He's thinking, aw. Oh. And on the next installment of Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D's Dual Transer, which is a stupid name, I am going to draw this card. I will see you in the next one.